Today I'm going to show you very quickly how to program an EEPROM for the BBC microcomputer. Well I say EEPROM, it's actually an EEPROM, um, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. And I'm going to use this programmer. This is the TL866 Mark II. It's a very, very common EEPROM programmer you can buy on eBay for about £50 and it will program modern EEPROM chips, EEPROM chips very easily. It won't program old chips unless you do some modifications to the power rails. There are other videos on YouTube that show you how to do this. But all I'm going to do is download a ROM file off the internet and program it to the programmer and hopefully it will work inside the beep. The software I'm using is the software that comes with the chip programmer. It's called XG Pro. The chip we're going to be using is a 32K EEPROM called an Amtel AT28C256. These are readily available from companies like CPC and they appear to work very well inside the Beeb. The first thing I'm going to do is load the ROM file, which in this case is WordWise Plus, which I downloaded off the internet. It comes up with this little box and I'm going to write the data into the top of the EEPROM. As you look, you can see that all the data has appeared into the program. Now, there is an issue with the Beeb in that if you use a 32K EEPROM, it will look for data in the upper block of 16K rather than the lower block. So in essence, what you have to do is you have to copy the data into both blocks. Now, there is a caveat about this that I will mention a bit later. So all we have to do is click File and Define Block. From here, I'll put in the hex address 3FFF, which will then highlight all the data in the lower block. I will then go Control C, and I will then scroll down, and at block 4000, or the start of the second 16K block, I will click on there, right click, paste. All the data is then in both blocks of the EEPROM. Next thing to do is to program it to the EEPROM itself. First thing I'll do is I'll just click Erase, and there's our chip, and I'll hit Erase. The chip was already blank, but I just wanted to double check, and it's always good practice just to make sure you're writing to a, to a blank chip. We then click Prog, and there's our little programming window, and we'll hit Program. And what it's done, it's programmed the chip and it's also verified the data on the chip, so we should be good to go. I'll now take the chip out of the programmer. I've just taken one of my chips out of my own beep, just to give me some space to pop this one back in. And the chip's in place. Okay, I will now switch the computer on. And now we can see our WordWise Plus ROM. So if I now type in star WordWise, and there's our program running quite happily. You may remember when I was programming this EEPROM, I copied the original ROM into the lower and the upper block of the EEPROM. The reason I did this was because the BBC looks on a 32K chip for the upper block to find its program. Now, I did try programming this in the upper block only, but I couldn't get it to work. Now, some say that you can load the program just into the upper block of the EEPROM chip and it will work perfectly fine. I found I couldn't get that to work. I don't know why, I just couldn't. But at the moment, this appears to be satisfactory for me, so I'm just sticking with copying both to the both blocks of the chip. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for other videos like this.